Aquarius, there is a spiritual growth that is emerging for you and it is appearing as you have received the card, Answer the Call, which says, what is your soul calling you to do? If you look at the message with the hawk, because with this totem it is showing guidance or it means omens or messages, that you have been revealed some sort of direction that would enhance your future or allow you to grow and there's no longer a need for you to hermit the situation but to reflect on how this can actually enhance your direction your transformation your emergence towards growth and you may have seen that call you may have noticed what has been coming in for you as a message but you may be hiding out from the situation or detaching from the circumstance, but you're highly intuitive and just trust that message that is coming through. Leo, the power in a situation presently is for you to lift the veil. It says questioning everything and anything unaligned must go. You're on the star family that you're a part of a team of souls to call in the support. But this card is upside down for star family. Hence, it would be a power for you to really look and question a bit deeper the situation. So you can see this situation is not working out. Something is dishonest in the circumstance. And then you'll have to leave the situation so that you can build a strength in the new direction. You find the people that truly are your star family, that do align with your path, that do align with the role that you're meant to take in the present tense. And to really kind of analyze or reflect a bit further on what the situations could be. Because once we release or close the situation, we can open up the chapters to the tribes that were meant to be around. Virgo, you got keepers of the earth, which states you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Intuitively, you may have sensed that you have to create a distance with a situation, whether it's a sexual partner or it could be your creative energy. But there's some situation where if you create a distance, you will understand that you will be supported. You won't be left alone in the situation. It'll be healthier for you to create the distance and then hence be true to what your soul really knows is true and that your guidance and your wisdom has always led you to the right direction and to continue to use that sense for your future to go towards your appropriate path and trust your instincts also be open to the needed changes that your intuition maybe had been nudging you on a circumstance but you could be ignoring presently, but be true to your soul. Aries, if you are sad or down about a situation with the Five of Cups present, there could be a healing with the medicine wheel coming up or your totems could be helping you. You also have the card, you got the love, which states that there's codependency, possibly issues or boundaries that need to be created. As the situations that you might be dealing with right now, may not be where you belong. You have the belonging card upside down and success card upside down. If you truly go beyond your emotions to go into your neutrality, because when we're in our emotions, it's hard for us to see that something won't be a success for us. And if we are codependent on a situation, whether it is what you're putting in your body or the people that you're surrounding yourself with, then you know that you're going to put yourself in a situation where you'll become stagnant or you won't have a success in the situation. Pisces, you have the call coming up, which is an angel trumpeting. So there is a divine message that's being sent to you presently. You also have the high priestess, which is the fortune teller. You have this natural inclination to understand things intuitively if you're not trying to mute your intuition. If you look a little bit deeper to what's being revealed to you right now, you'll be able to see that your life is a canvas. On your life is a canvas, it states artist manifestation and creative accountability. What you want to create or manifest, all you have to do is visualize it. You have this dreamy nature to you and you can create possibly something that could be surreal into something tangible. Also magic of nature is coming up for you. Being outside in nature would help you presently to manifest what you see or visualize and bring it home.
Libra, you have the ever unfolding rose. Things are being cracked open. It's not happening to you, but for you. Meaning that sometimes the rejection can be the protection. This could be a benefit that some situation is not working out and could be opening a different road for you. And as well, you received the card, the messenger, which states bringing harmony and balance. And that's what we're about, Libra. When the Libra is in its balance, it does create harmony. We do have that capacity to bring in a lot of love, to bring in a lot of serenity or harmony in our environment. You also have divine guidance. You're able to intuit this guidance that's been showing you that you need to step away from a situation. That way that you could birth a new age. So being able to create a new reality. Archangel Michael is here to rescue you from a situation that is not serving your highest purpose or the best role or path for you presently. Gemini, you have baby steps coming up. You may want to know beforehand what is going on, but it's better to explore possibly the situations presently with little steps, small paces, before it really truly makes sense. And that might be quite enchanting for you to explore. Two of Swords is also coming up, meaning that you may need to ignore a situation specifically with a soulmate. Soulmates is coming up upside down. There is a situation where possibly, whether it's romantic or not, you may need to ignore the situation because you need a healing first. You possibly haven't been engaging in something to lift up your spirit. And Gemini, you tend to want to be an uplifted happy person could uplift your spirit and to just trust the guidance even if it's not clear with what direction you're going right now but just take your time with little step baby steps is better than no step enjoy your environment right now scorpio there may be a karmic relationship that is coming up some opposition or some conflict and this person may have kind of flew into your path. Best to kind of ignore the situation. Focus on your dreams, whether it's actually getting rest or whatever is the endeavors that you've always seen that you've wanted to manifest. Divulge into your dreams. Go more deeper into the situation and see what has always revealed to you that more fulfills your purpose. Karmic relationships may have showed you a lesson or maybe you showed someone a lesson. Even though there is this karmic situation, it already revealed what it needed to. The person already is kind of going to swiftly leave the situation, especially if you ignore that path or ignore that person and keep focused on the things that you truly know intuitively is your direction. Also be flexible in your approach. Don't be distracted, you're on target. Taurus, it may have been hard for you to balance some situations. You may have been in the middle in a situation. You also have the balance card upside down. So there's really a need for you to balance what's going on in your reality. You have communications also coming up upside down and confide right side up. So if you've been holding in a circumstance in your heart, juggling a lot of situations and you don't know if you're going to drop the ball, you could really confide in someone. And it might be the best thing for you. You may not think so. You may want to hold all that in. There's a possibility that the person or people that need to hear it, they may not necessarily hear it from a person like you. you may be able to drop some wisdom that can help enlighten someone possibly relieve you from what you're carrying you may need to really first confide in someone that you trust that you know that will keep this information to themselves and then also give you some good guidance on the situation there's no need for you to struggle on your own sagittarius you have the strength card upside down which means there is some kind of loss of power in a situation just to see the divine message or to look at what is really coming in from the angelic realm or the spiritual realm or your higher self, whatever you believe in, but it also means integrity. So going towards your integrity, Sagittarius, in a situation, you have the magic card coming up upside down. So it's possible that the reason why the situation is not working is because it's really not meant for you. So that's why it's not carrying the magic that you're desiring. Best thing for you to do is, is you have the share your voice. It says come out of the cave persecution and expression. You really have to speak up, say the truth. You also have the no card, which says wait, postpone, pause, say no. You may have to share your voice and say no to a situation because it just doesn't have the power or the strength for you. 
Capricornium, divine destiny coming up. You are heading towards your path. You may not believe it, but you are. There's a need for you to see the growth, but you may not be able to express it. So there's a need to rest on the situation because whatever is coming up emotionally is calling for you to be in your neutrality. So you have the serenity card rest on the top. This is a time for you to rebirth and to be flexible and open to any new changes that are coming up for you or new ideas. Break away from the old unhealthy habits and really step out of your comfort zone and to see the little changes. They might be minor changes to make that adjustment so that the path can be more serene for you and for you to expand a bit more and just trust that you are heading towards your path. You could be working yourself so hard that you're not able to see that you truly are heading the direction you're meant to. Cancerian, you have the unbound card. Sometimes we have to let things go so that we won't be bound to situations. There are old circumstances. You do not have to be bound by these soul contracts. That if you release this old situation, then you will find yourself unbound. You'll find a better path for yourself. You have the transformation card coming up. Liberation can also be present. You have green man synergy. This card is either a money card or you getting along with a lot of people or coming from the heart center where you find a bit more peace for yourself and synergy in your environment possibly. You have joy upside down. Why stay in those situations and not find a way to liberate yourself from them. You have two transformation cards actually. Things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing. If you allow yourself to see that transition through whatever the circumstances that you must release, it'll allow you to have a healing. It'll open the door for new possibilities. All signs. Things don't have to be as scary as they appear. There are several different guides that will allow us to break the chain. We don't have to keep going through the same cycles. We don't have to have history repeat itself. Once we change the course of a situation, then blessings can appear. We can have a transformation with this sun card. It has the phoenix totem. We can rebirth from this situation if we come out of our fears. There's no need to stagnate in our fears and lose our power or give up our power to any other source besides our own sovereignty. Look to revamping your situation. You may change the course of the reality for other people. We could also stagnate other people by allowing ourselves to stay in cyclic existence. Heal whatever it is that you need to heal and rewrite your future. If something destructs, then we can learn from the circumstance build a stronger foundation next time. And I hope this helps you all in the present.